Okay, so we're going to put uh, another transmission. These two clips hold the body on. Screws hold the top in place. One there, one there. First thing we do is take the water pump loose. Put all the parts in one place. Disconnect the power. And I have to take the agitator. Uh, that's got a 7 16th bolt holding it on. Okay, so got it tipped. This one actually has a cover here under it. Like a noise damper, to be shield. Yeah, so basically, I'm gonna leave this cover on, take the motor off, and then there's these three bolts that hold the transmission in place. One, two, three. You can see that this transmission for some reason was leaking. It's got grease. Alright. On the sides. Clips hold the motor on. There are two clips. Some of them are held on the motor with screws, they have a screw hole. So, this one, once you get the agitator off, it just slides out. It'll just drop, drop right out as soon as you take the, the three. Three nuts off. These are the half inch nuts that hold the transmission in place. But this one has got a little issue with the transmission. It doesn't want to go in too smooth. So what I did is I lubed the shaft a little bit. I'm just going to sort of try and force it in here. Um, so, on this, I have to make sure and get that little white thing lined up with the, the clutch. So, this is the bad transmission. And you can see how oily it is. Usually when it's this oily, the clutch slips. But <clears throat> on this one, it just the transmission just totally went out on it. On these clutches. These clutches can be sort of like rebuilt. Let's see this one is is actually not that oily on the on the shoes it is a little bit but it's not that oily i was thinking it would be a little bit more oily because of that the these marks on it uh, but the clutch was probably working good and 
transmission just was like it's you know 100,000 mile whatever 200,000 it did this machine was actually about 15 or 20 years old so maybe like the 300,000 mile mark on this one So this is your clutch here. So it does have some grease right there, you can see. And this one here can be cleaned up with a little alcohol. This is, you can tell how old this is by the clutch. See, on the new clutches, they only put three of these little pads on. This one's got like one, two, three, four, five, six, six pads. The new ones, they only put like three pads on. So this one here, I'm going to clean it up and try and salvage it. And then what I do when the clutch is slipping, what I'll do is clean the clean this bell up real good and put some sort of like cross hatch uh, scratches on it. So that's something to grab after it's cleaned up a little bit. Then uh, you know clean this up and maybe put a little cross, a few cross hatches on this one. You can tell the clutches are worn out if that brass part is is, is even with the uh, the brown uh, shoe X on the outside, and the, the the clutch goes down this way. And you can see there's like little feet on the bottom of that, and there's no foot on the top of it. On the bottom of that pad, there's a little foot right there. And on the top, there's no foot at all. So the foot always goes down because it rubs. The green, green wire is the ground, so we're not messing with the green wire at all. Your disclaimer. Get all the clips on. Let's plug in. Motor clips on. Let's get it dry. Test the agitation. Set it on agitation. This is your water level sensor tube. Water level sensor tube. You just blow into this lightly and then set it on agitation and she'd come on switch set it on spin check the pressure it's got good pressure so what I try to do is just hold the tub back when I turn it on to test the spin spin pressure and this one passes the test. So that's your tip for today. 
If this video helped you, please send me a donation. It's Bill's Enterprises, P.O. Box 7021, Eureka, California, 95502. Thanks.